We spent the day at the DMV. Oh, that's fun. That's not what that word means, Tara. No. That's... And we not only did we spend the day at the DMV, we had the DMV bonus. It was... And you, everyone has experienced the DMV bonus. You go to the DMV, you think you have everything in order, you bring all your fucking papers, you have all your fucking shit, you get up to the dude, and the dude says, What? The dude says, Yeah, you need to fill out this thing, and you did this wrong, and you need this. Yeah. You have to come back. Yeah. You just so, ate, like, two hours of our lives, motherfucker. Sorry, you only brought 16 forms of ID. You definitely need 18. <laughs> and, and a blood sample. And the difference, the complete difference, night and day difference. We also had to go to the property tax, pay property tax on the car. And there, and there, and, and Sarah was like, all right, uh, here's my uh, title. Here's this. Uh, here's, I got my passport, my birth certificate. Here's, here's like, uh, pr <laughs> pr pr here's proof of my address. And the lady at the property tax was like, I don't care. Just Do you have just, money? Yes, exactly. They didn't give a shit. Give it's us like, money. Give us fucking, fuck yeah. Go, it was like, we were in there like five minutes. We're like, boom, just done. Give us your money and fuck off. Uh, well, I'm all alone. All the cats are sleeping in other places, and Dan has gone to bed. And hopefully his snoring won't carry across the hall. Oh, I'm sure we're going to hear Simba at some point. Probably. He might come to the door and announce himself. Eventually, I don't know if I mentioned, Simba's going to live in the office. Oh, boy. We got to cat-proof some stuff. Like, last time he was in here, he knocked over all my nail polish and got into all my makeup. So we got to cat-proof a little. Um, but we're going to move Simba next door into the office. So he will be the show cat for the foreseeable future. <laughs> oh, that, that's going to be amusing to see how that works. Knowing, I want to show you something. You, you know, Grady is like the, the most, the biggest pushover ever. Yeah. And this is what Grady did. I don't know how well you can see it. This is what yeah. Grady did. You know what happened? I what was happened? holding him. And Sarah turned on the popcorn popper. Oh, no. He, he exploded. I was holding Dottie once, and I forget what happened, but she got scared, and she she rabbit kicked her way out of my hands. So she shredded my hands, like, across the inner, inner knuckles and the meat of the hand. And, like, I, like I, I just walked up to Dan, like, bleeding, and I'm like, I need help. <laughs> I, I can't touch um, anything, and I hurt. Ah, uh, cats. Anyway, let's get the yeah, intro I think going. Simba will like being on the internet once he gets used to it. <laughs> More than and Dottie, because it will get him, like, anything that gets him near me makes him happy. Okay. So. All right. Intro time. Each week, Catherine. Radio Dead Air audience, go out in the worldwide interwebs, find all sorts of horrible stuff, bring back here for a little segment we like to call What the Fuck is Wrong with You? And you know what? I could not resist this first story because I'm still <laughs> I'm still laughing. I couldn't stop laughing when I read This was beautiful. This is the best, I think this is one of the best stories we've had all year. And it makes me happy. Okay. It, um, it is <laughs> <laughs> Escape parent tells firefighters sent to rescue it from a roof to fuck off. Oh no! <laughs> parent, they're trying to help you. A parent stuck on a roof for three days greeted firefighters sent to its aid with a four letter tirade. Jesse, the multilingual macaw, flips the bird after escaping from her owner's home in Edmonton, North London. When she could not be lured down from a neighbor's roof, firefighters were called out to tell the bird, I love you. To which Jesse replied, I love you back. But then she ruffled her foot beef rescuer's feathers by telling them to fuck off before flying to another nearby rooftop. <laughs> <laughs> I love that the bird actively fuck off and then flew away. I wonder if the bird has an English accent because that would be adorable. Fuck off, you fucking fuck. Off. fuck. That was not an English accent. I don't know what happened there. Fuck off. 
<laughs> I just, I thought the, the bird flew, and they're sitting. They've set up the ladders. And they've got like, all the gear, and the bird is on another roof. And they're like, "Oh fuck, son of a bitch!" Fuck off! Fuck off! I, I, I have a friend who has uh, <laughs> a bird. She has, I think, an African gray. Oh and God, those are monsters! Her, yeah, it's a big bird. And, you know, she puts the blanket over the cage at night because if you put the blanket over the cage, the bird will sleep. Mm. And she says, good night. And the bird says, good night, asshole. (laughs) (laughs) That's just, that's how they say good night. Good night, asshole. I just, I love that the bird, and the bird had been on this one roof for days, okay? Fuck off. So they were... They, they were man, honestly. They were concerned that the bird was like hurt or something because it hadn't come yeah, down from the roof. Just sitting there. And but they went up and then, you know, they, the bird was fine and just told them to would you fucking leave me alone? Because sometimes you gotta go climb. You can't climb up on a roof. Sometimes you have to go out. You have to go inside. It's not safe. <laughs> You'll get like rained on. <laughs> I think that I think this is a bird who can take care of itself. Well, they they do outdoor cats in the British Isles too because they don't really have any natural predators. Have you ever seen a cat encounter a parrot? I haven't. That is the funniest shit. I did when I have a kid. When as a kid, my cat got beat, got the shit beat out of her by a mockingbird. Parrots are fucking with the mockingbird's nest, and that cat beat that bird beat the shit out of her. Parrots are the worst, especially if you live with a parrot and a cat, because the parrot will fuck with the cat. Will call it'll call the cat. It'll like it, it'll make noises to startle the parrots. Will fuck with cats. They are just the meanest shit. They are too smart for that. They're like chimpanzee see, smart. There's, there's a little meme that goes around of like I think it's a cockatiel, the white ones with the big. Yes. Just like blending into a group of white cats. <laughs> no, I'm one of you guys. Really? Parrots are scary smart and they will fuck with cats. Cats, I, I, Grady's pretty intelligent, but a cat, but a fucking parrot will run, run rings around my cat. Dottie's pretty intelligent. Peggy's very pretty. <laughs> uh, Simba, well, I don't know. Simba's, Simba's pretty clever. Simba's very manipulative. Simba knows how to get what he wants. But we're not done with the animals yet. Everyone sent me the story. And this is... This is another one I'm just like... Really, dude? Cockatiels are different. I thought cockatoo was just saying cockatiel wrong. Mm. (laughs) I don't know anything about birds. No. Other than they used to be dinosaurs. All right, this is from Germany. Um... Police in Germany rescue man being chased by baby squirrel. Look how cute he is. Oh, my God. He's so tiny. German police have rescued a man after he called for help, saying a baby squirrel would not leave him alone. Emergency service received a call on Thursday from the man who claimed he was being chased down the street by the tiny animal. I don't know if I'd call the cops because I think that would be the best day ever. <laughs> like, I have a squirrel feeder in my yard because I'm that Disney princess. But, like, I don't want to keep them away. I, I have a feeder for them. So I think I would be excited. Police said the unnamed man called them in desperation after he was unable to shake off the small rodent. It's like the cutest horror movie ever. <laughs> Officer set a patrol car out to investigate and arrived to find the chase still in full throw flow. The dr- dun it, dun it, dun it. But the drama ended suddenly when the squirrel, apparently exhausted, lay down abruptly and fell asleep. I mean, come on. All right. Can you just imagine being on the street and there's a man running down screen screaming in German for help and Nine. you look and it's like Nine. and you're like, "Oh my god, what the hell is happening? Is this fucking demon is and there's a little this little tiny squirrel bouncing along behind." <laughs> yeah. You're never living that down, man. I didn't know squirrels bark until very recently. 
And that's not a good sound. <laughs> but I imagine when they're babies, it's cuter. Oh, the officer took pity on the am- animal, which would probably come separate from its mother. Police say it likely targeted the man because it was in search of a new home. It often happens that squirrels, which have lost their mothers, look for a replacement and then focus their efforts on one person. Listen, man, I know you might not want to be a father, but sometimes you just can't run from your responsibilities, you know? Yeah. You know? You you got... You really, got... If, if a squirrel bonds to you, they bond to you very strongly and make a pretty nice little pet. It's so, that Dr. K's exotic pet show that I watch. So, that she know, has a couple of squirrels. I, I wonder if he's going to have to, like, you know, like, pay child support on the squirrel. <laughs> Poor baby squirrel got separated from his mommy. Yeah, but just the, the spectacle of that. Just, this little I don't fu- know why you'd be so terrified of a little baby squirrel. I know. I would just I would be a little freaked out, but I'd be like, hey buddy, what the hell? I I'd be like, oh my god, and me without a box to put you in. Like <laughs> I'd be like trying to get him in my purse. I would not for help. The, the moment, I mean, maybe I would run if it was potentially like a rabies situation, but a baby squirrel's like that big. Yeah. I was like, that's not, that's not scary. That's not scary. What is wrong with you? <laughs> I mean, maybe he had a squirrel related trauma in his life. Dan has. Dan has. Dan was hospitalized by a squirrel. So he's not as enthusiastic about feeding them as I am, but he's a good sport. I, I'm just imagining the police. This, Hans, what? Hans, there's a man being chased by a squirrel. And? What? <laughs> and what are we supposed to do about it? We have to go get the... taxes for crime in Germany. That place is a fucking utopia. <laughs> like, good job, Angela Merkel. If your biggest problem... Is adorable baby squirrels looking for new parents? Yeah. I mean, that's probably not their biggest problem. And I'm sure we'll get 100 comments from people that live in Germany and are like, actually, they're rabid wombats roaming the streets with switchblades. They're over here. If it's like New York or something and somebody calls saying they're being chased by a squirrel, the police are like, can't yeah, fuck you. Yeah. We, we have yeah. The shit's on fire downtown. OK, yeah. we have fun with your squirrel. Does it have a slice of pizza? You'll go viral. Have a good day. We have more fun with animals. And you know what? This is just a weird week. Uh, this is All of this stuff just happened. This is a weird week. You know what? It's better than all poop week. Because we've had that. We've had all poop week, or yeah. All airplane assholes week. Like, I'm cool with adorable animals week. Oh, is this... this oh, which one? Oh, where, I thought this was the cow story. Oh, we'll do this one, too. We'll do this you one, too. You send me a cow story. You send me something I understand and sympathize yeah, with. Yeah. All right. Well, this is also animal stories. Um, uh, woman, Florida woman runs naked through park to get away from giant spider. There's, there's not a lot of things that would get me out in public naked. Escaping a giant spider might be one. Okay, but Florida woman ran naked through a public park Sunday because she believed a giant spider was on her and she was trying to get away from it. Danielle Teeples, 40, faces a charge of, and this is a funny charge, exposure of sexual organs. That's a phrasing there. Did she pull out her uterus and show it to people? Organs? (laughs) I know, even dudes don't have multiple organs involved. You know? I mean, I guess you could call breasts an organ. According to a St. Petersburg police report, Teeples was, quote, acting erratic- erratically and rubbing her hair and breasts as she ran through Bartlett Park, causing vehicles to slow down and honk at her as they passed. Now, that's 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 a very American thing. When you see someone yeah. running around naked and you're like, get out of the road! Get out of the rut. That's your first response. I had somebody honked at me that day my tire blew up from a pothole. Like, my car is like this. And I had somebody honk at me, and I rolled to my window and go, you have a flat. Thank you. 
I'm aware of that. Please say. I appreciate your life. And you know what? Even if you're not aware of a flat tire, by the time you pull over, you will be. Let that shit go. You're not helping. But my car was literally, like, lurching, like, barely able to, like, clearly I was aware that there was a fucking problem. You, you have a flat. Police said Teeples initially, initially refused to get dressed and said she had recently used crack cocaine, spice, and crystal meth. What the fuck is spice? It's that artificial marijuana bullshit that is full of crazy- I thought that was- K something. I, they call it bunches of different shit. I can't keep up with the new drugs the kids are doing. They can't. We can't. They keep like design. They keep making drugs. What is it? Tide pods? I don't. I don't know what you kids do. She stated she believed a giant spider was on her, so she took her clothes off to get away from it. Nash, do you realize what? We have a story where we know why they were naked. <laughs> we have a um, line from beginning to naked. We have a reason. We have the fucking drugs. This is a historic day. Well, no, because she thought there was a, and if I thought there was a giant spider inside my clothes, I would take them the fuck off too. But then, because they tried to take my leg. Why would you do the drugs that make you think a spider is on you? Why would why you combine? Cocktail them. I know, right? This is not like a Cosmo. And that's what I don't get. Like, I'm a real square. I think I've mentioned this before. Yeah. I've never done any of the drugs. <laughs> Apart from. I think enough times of marijuana that I could count on one hand. So I don't know why one would layer cocaine on top of crystal meth, on top of whatever. And like every time I see that happen in a movie, I'm just waiting for someone to die. This this I was watching sharp objects like last night, sharp objects last night, and they they took an op, the chick took an oxy, and then she did like sixty shots, and then she did ecstasy, and I'm like. And then she dies, right? That's what happens when you do that. But no, she was okay. This this is like a Harvey Wallbanger of madness. Yeah. The fuck are you mixing? It? Well, we're gonna have a little cocaine and a little crystal meth. No. Like it's not a parfait. No. <laughs> it's not a trifle. It's not like the more layers, the more delicious and delightful it is. No. Just pick your drug. And go. Just pick one, for yeah. fuck's sake. Like, pick the drug you're dancing with that night, and that's it. Here's the here's the other animal story we were going to get into tonight. Um, and it's Florida, which this is kind of what the, I don't know what the hell is going on. Watch a herd of cattle help police corral a fleeing oh. woman. Well, that was nice of them. Yeah, here's the here's the uh, the aerial footage. Oh, there we go. Do we have the video? There we go. Oh, or or do we? Or do we? I do. Oh, it's a night vision. He yeah, has a night vision here. Um, the herded become the herders Monday when a woman fleeing police through a pasture was chased down by more than a dozen cows, leading her straight to officers and arrest. Uh, the video shows Jennifer Ann Kaufman running through a field being chased by cows who work together to corral the suspect. That's so funny. I wonder why. Let's see. Yeah, there we go. You see some little bit of a little bit of the video there. Um, authorities say Kaufman, 46, was riding in a stolen Subaru SUV being pursued by officers when the vehicle crashed near the pasture after officers attempted to disable it with stop sticks. Kaufman and another occupant, uh, Jamie Michael Young, fled into the pasture. A third occupant, Her Aaron Thomas, stayed with the vehicle. Young was chased down by a canine unit, but Kaufman made it de deeper. Then, video shows, police got an animal assist. Uh, actually, a large group of cows is following her for a good visual. It looks like they may attack her, the helicopter team can be heard saying. She's pretty far in the field field now. If you see the large group of cows, they are literally following and chasing her. The herd of cattle chased Kaufman right to a fence 
where authorities were waiting on the other side. Cows is filmed on location. Cows <laughs> and bulls of law enforcement. <laughs> bad bulls, bad bulls. What you gonna what do? You gonna do? What, you... what you gonna do when they come for you? <laughs> Jam sure is like, wow, it's like the far side all of a sudden. That's a deep cut. <laughs> Who remembers that shit? No, I mean, it's just, I, that is hilarious. You are like they're attacking. They're kind of prancing. Yeah, I mean, you're on you're on the run from the, the cops and all of a sudden a herd of cows is coming at you. <laughs> that's a wrinkle, I would that's say. Bad, that's a bad night. I just maybe they, maybe they wanted to tip her over. <laughs> How do you like it? <laughs> I just what you gonna move? <laughs> oh, really? 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 Bad bulls, bad bulls. What you gonna move? That's good. That might be our title. I just it what the cows all right. Cows are not awful creatures. They're they're normally very they're kind of smart and they're kind of gentle. Yeah. And they're pretty friendly. They don't generally they're fine with people. If you got an entire herd pissed at you though, run. Run. Yeah. Cause they are protective of each other, and if you piss them off somehow run just just run i, I, I just, i'll be deputized <laughs> i'm picturing the cops just like how do we write this do we have a code for this it really changes the cop slang though because usually they call like the regular cop cars the black and whites <laughs> so if they're like all right i'm sending a black and white to your location okay but like <laughs> <laughs> What are a car? A car are, yeah. Or a Holstein. Kaufman was charged with petty theft, possession of cocaine, possession of drug paraphernalia. So not only was she trying to run from these cows, she's trying to run from them high. <laughs> Which means she wasn't even a hundred percent sure that the cows were real. <laughs> Like, you're arguing with yourself the whole time. Because the last lady, there was no giant spider. So the whole time, you're like, I don't even... Are these cows real? I don't know. I don't know, but I, they're freaking me out. <laughs> oh, well, it's time for the more traditional horse shit. God damn it. Don't you mean cow shit? Why, why couldn't we just go through one week without this kind of thing? All right. Have you been to a, a, a Japanese hibachi restaurant before? Yeah. They're great. I love those. Shoot meat into your mouth and... There's fire on the tables and there's hot yeah. oil and they're flipping they shit little, around. On your little onion volcano. Can you think of one place... Uh, uh, you know, honestly, it's of, of the many possible unpleasant places to be naked. The middle of a hibachi restaurant. It's it's it might not be in the top ten, but it's pretty far up there. Yeah, I mean, there's fire and knives and flying food. Florida man, twenty four, strips performs erotic dance inside Japanese steakhouse. Okay. Meet James Dylan Jordan. A married couple is enjoying a Sunday evening out at a Japanese steakhouse when a tipsy Jordan, twenty four, don't see drunk. He's drunk. Yeah. Began to undress and dance erotically in front of the female half of the duo. Distressed by Jordan's impromptu strip striptease, Jamie Carpenter, who was accompanied by her husband Christopher, advised Jordan to leave the Kobe Japanese state house in Clearwater. In response, Jordan became belligerent and began calling her fat and threatened to fight her spouse. In response, Jordan did the thing that dudes fucking do when women dare to not touch their penis and lost his fucking shit and insulted her and had and listen, fellas. I know it's a tough world now. Like you can't even sexually harass chicks anymore. <laughs> like you can't even just grab some random chick's ass anymore. I know it's tough, man. But I promise you that if you just handle a rejection. And are like, okay, and go on with your life. Your dick's not going to fall off. It's not. 
It's not going to like cut off its own blood supply and fall off if you just grow the fuck up. I I, I was okay. <laughs> Lady Mean Shao goes. Magic Might's really lost his shit. <laughs> I'm, I'm just, there's a time and a place for everything. And you know what? I do not find any, even if I would. I would dance with my teriyaki steak. Yeah, even if I were to find a woman attractive, I'd be like, that's nice, lady. But do you know how much this fucking steak costs? Right. I'm and eating. Also she's with a date. Yeah. And they're trying to have their fucking dinner. So she probably doesn't want your lap dance right now. No. And also, have you noticed all the fire? Like, how you know if a woman wants a lap dance from you is really easy. If you're in a strip club and you are a stripper and she hands you money. There you go. That's when a woman wants a lap dance from you. Otherwise, you can pretty much count on she fucking does. I'm just, I'm trying to just... Imagine these tables, they're about at waist height anyway. Yeah. Right? And they're fucking, there's hot oil and fire. Yeah. And the my first thought is, you know what? And he's got quite a beard. I would not like to catch on fire right no. now. That, that would. That sounds not fun. Why would you, why would you take your dick out around fire? No, it's it's a stupid question, and yet... Because someone might touch it. The fire will touch it! Apparently. Yeah, but apparently Unga Bunga Woman trumps Unga Bunga Fire <laughs> when you're this fucking asshole with a beard that looks like there's squirrels living in it anyway. <laughs> Listen, all right. Another little tip for you fellas. If you're going to rock the long beard, I know that's really trendy right now, you have to groom that shit. You have to brush it. Yeah. You have to you have to wash it. Like you should use shampoo, like you use on your hair. Conditioner is good. Beard oil. This shit gets split ends. Mine's not even all that long, and this yeah. shit. Get, the fuck? How the fuck my beard gets split ends? But it Stand does. Brushes and oils it every day. And if it's gonna be that long, you need to see to that shit. Do you think ZZ Top didn't care for those beards? Those oh, beards hell no. were gorgeous. Yes. Because, come on, man. You're, you're just... <sighs> what? It's what? just a storage facility for crumbs. What the fuck? Why in the Japanese state? I, I, I feel I kind of feel bad for the staff because they're like... Um, can you imagine? Is like, this... It's just trying to chop up meat over fire and he's like... What? What are you doing? I'm the show. One of the other guys, don't worry about it, man. It's a white people thing. This is just what they do. <laughs> they, just, they, This is just, it's just how they are. It's just how they are, man. Just let them go. They, they'll tire themselves out eventually. <laughs> Best not to get involved. Then they get ro rowdy. Yeah. Oh, okay. This, this, oh, this one. Okay. This story initially just sounds kind of disturbing until we get to the details about it. Car explodes, setting Edmund home on fire. It's from Oklahoma. Fire crews battled in quotes. Yeah, I, I don't know why it's I guess they took a quote from someone in the story. Fire crews battled a fire at a home in Edmond Saturday afternoon. Quote, they took their car in this morning to get serviced. It had a check engine light on, said neighbor Andrea Hurst. You know, they got it service, routine, came back home. Apparently, he parked in the garage, went inside, and the car exploded. Firefighters responded to the, responded to the area uh, in video taken by Hurst's husband. Black smoke can be seen coming from the garage where three cars were destroyed. News 4 spoke. They did a bad job. Mm. We're getting to it. We're getting to it. News 4 spoke to the family that lives in the home. They declined an interview. However, they said their car had been serviced before the fire. Here's where we get to the hinky part. Neighbors say a similar situation happened just a few blocks over, and firefighters say it's not unheard of. I'm sorry? Quote, within the past six months, for example, probably maybe three says Major Randy Gonzalez of the Oklahoma uh, County Fire Department, 
who confirmed the fire started with a vehicle in the garage. Randy, I think you need to ask those people where they took their car. What is going on? You need to put that place out of business. What the fuck is going on? Okay, one car can blow up after being serviced. That's a little weird, but I can understand. Okay, that shit can happen. I really can understand it, but okay. If it, if, man, if they do something wrong with your car, it can't explode. But it's not an everyday thing. I'm really paranoid about getting my oil changed. Two cars explode? That's getting a little concerning. Maybe mm -hmm. within the realm of possible. But three fucking cars. Someone's blowing up them cars, y'all. Maybe, maybe don't take your car to mafioso <laughs> quick oil change anymore. <laughs> I, I just I love how nonchalant the the fire department was about it. Yeah, yeah, they, they've been that sometimes, man. Within six months, we've had three cars explode. It's just a thing that shouldn't happen. Sometimes that's that's not okay. That's a fucking investigation. Why aren't you knocking on doors around here? The thing is, the thing that should not happen that's happening a lot is people are taking their dogs to PetSmart to get groomed, and their dogs are dying. Yeah. I don't know how your dog dies from a bath and a haircut, but in New Jersey in the past year, they've been like three or four, I think, which is way too many. Yeah. So that's like a thing. That's well, now you're making me paranoid because we take Loki to get his fucking nails cut. I don't know. I, I think it's only been like in the New Jersey area. Well, you're still making me paranoid here. Oh, I'm sorry. Well, I'm paranoid about getting the oil changed in my car now. So well, please. fuck us! <laughs> Jesus! But yeah, like, that's been a thing around here. And I used to, when I was a kid, we had, there was a guy that had a Winnebago that he refashioned into a grooming studio with a big window. So he would come to us. And groom the dogs right in the driveway, and all the neighborhood kids would come and watch. <laughs> I just it. I, I just love how the, the the how just nonchalant the fire department. You're the fire department. Sometimes this, you tune up, your car blows up. That happens. This is when you start getting. So don't you have like an arson investigator? Don't you want the overtime? Come on. Well, it could be, I mean, if it's a volunteer department, they don't get paid at all. All right. Well, now I think we've, we've hit upon why they don't give a fuck. That's so much. My dad's department was all volunteer. They didn't get paid <sighs> at all. So. Yeah, we could look into the cars exploding, but that's a lot of paperwork. Like, I just do this on the weekends, man. I just, I can, can it just happens. Can you guys just let it go or call your insurance? It's fine. It's just... I mean, it's also Oklahoma. <laughs> and I feel like, in my mind, Oklahoma is basically Mad Max Fury Road. <laughs> so I feel like maybe shit just blows up there sometimes and everyone's like, well. Oh, come on. Sir. We have both been to Oklahoma at least once or twice for like camp convention shit. I've never been to Oklahoma. Never? Never. Shit, I went to one there. Oh, I, I didn't. Wow. Of course, I've been to the conventions all over the fucking country at some point or another. Anyway. I think yeah, that, like, Memphis this year was kind of a big deal for me. I think the first thing we learned this week is that um, firefighters need better incentives. Yeah, yeah. To give a fuck, because um, it's volunteer shit. Not quite working out quite. Fucking cars are exploding, man. Get on okay. that. Cypher says I'm right about Oklahoma and that a whole town vanished. It's fucking Night Vale out there. We've learned that um, a, a Japanese steakhouse with hibachi, it's, it's not a good place to pull out your penis. Nope. That really overzealous chef might just whack it off and <laughs> chuck it up and cook it. Because <laughs> it's just like, hoi, ha, 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 hey, hey. And is that a mushroom, honey? It's really large. Your dick will wind up in someone's mouth, but not the way you want it. <laughs> We've learned don't fuck with cows. No, cows are hardcore. Cars are hardcore. Um, Drugs do not go in a cocktail. No. 
one at a time, please, in an orderly fashion. Just choose your date and stay with your date. Because otherwise, the giant spiders come. Um, we've learned baby squirrels will decide they own you. Yeah, they'll just decide you're their person now. And finally... And might be terrifying. And finally, we've learned that a British parrot can, in fact, be incredibly British. <laughs> Tell me that is not the most British thing in the world. Someone caught... It, like, it feels like the prequel to the Monty Python dead parrot skit. <laughs> Like, what happened before the dead parrot? Well, the parrot got trapped on the roof and told us to fuck off. <laughs> and <it> died. <laughs> I just, I, I love, I love that. I just, it made me so happy. <laughs> it did. I, really, I love you. Fuck off. I really want to know if the bird had a British accent, because that would make me so happy. <laughs> fuck off, you piece of shite. And was it Cockney or like London or like, you know, oh, well, Cockney is London, but you know what I mean? Like, was it like Liverpool, Cockney? Oh, do fuck off, will you? Yeah, or like Royal Family. We would like you to fuck off. <laughs> if you please. If you please. Yes. We are enjoying the sun and would like you to fuck off. Do you think she's ever said that? Donald Trump just visited her. I promise you she said that. 